Blood Meridian is becoming a feature film, everyone. It just got announced a couple hours ago that John Hillcote, director of The Road, is going to be directing Blood Meridian with Cormac McCarthy and his son serving as executive producers. And in my opinion, this is an absolute disaster. There are a couple good, good, ele good elements that we're going to talk about in a second, but John Hillcote would have much more success playing the judge than directing this movie. We are not going to get that HBO or Showtime miniseries on Blood Meridian. We're going to get a condensed two and a half hour film. And Hilco has never directed anything like this in his life. And I think this was, this was given to Hilco because McCarthy and Hilco formed a bond while he directed The Road. And once it was done, Hillcote said that him and Cormac McCarthy had worked out how to make Blood Meridian into a feature film, and he was just waiting for the rights to be able to direct it. So McCarthy seems to have the confidence in Hillcote to do this, but as we've seen with The Counselor, The Sunset Limited, All the Pretty Horses, it's very easy to turn a McCarthy novel or screenplay into a dud. And if you guys don't already know, Right Conscious is the headquarters of Cormac McCarthy-related content. I have already over 50 videos on this channel. I have a Cormac McCarthy course for only $5 a month. Link is down in the description below. Some sick ass t-shirts. So as we wait for this movie, you guys can go deep with me on this channel and with all of our, our other genius community members. But I want to talk about the good now. There's something good in all of this and that the company that is doing this is New Regency. And that may not mean anything to you, but New Regency has put out over the last 10 years, three movies that I think really showed that they're not scared to confront hard content. The Northman, The Revenant, and Birdman. They've obviously put out a lot of other great movies too, but this isn't a company that will shy away from the scalping. I mean, there's going to, there needs to be the babies on the tree scene. There's going to be scalping. I mean, who knows if they're going to confront the judge's pedophilia and all the crazy rape scenes that happen in Blood Meridian. I, I'm guessing... John Hillcoat's not, to con not going to confront that because in the road, John Hillcoat skipped the scene where the band of slavers goes by with all the women that are pregnant and the slaves getting whipped. And that was an instrumental scene, in my opinion, to the book to show the dynamic of the book. But Hillcoat or the company chose not to put that in there. But there also isn't a deleted scene of that being filmed. And what's the worst can happen here? Well, the worst thing that can happen is that it's not very good. And it's like Dune, you know, uh, David Lynch's 1984 Dune. And it will prevent us from getting an adaptation until we all have gray hair. And if you're old, you'll probably be dead. So circling back to Hillcoat, he directed a film called The Proposition. Everyone should go and watch it. And it's a pretty successful Western film. It does give some Blood Meridian vibes. But I don't want another typical quasi-Western film with some violence in it. Blood Meridian is a lot deeper and darker than that. There is tones of psychedelia there is so much grandiosity in the prose and in the Southwest in general, the Sonoran and Chihuahuan Desert, where this hopefully is going to be filmed, that I think the Australian-Canadian John Hillco has no idea how to approach. But if he can execute at a similar level with Blood Meridian as he did on The Proposition, then Blood Meridian will be, it will be a decent movie for sure. But if he's directing how he's directed for the last 17 years, then this is just going to be a wash. And this breaks my heart. I mean, I guess the next worst thing that can happen is that we won't get any other Cormac McCarthy adaptions or attempts. The Dark could be a great miniseries. The Passenger and Stella Mars could make an insane HBO miniseries. The Crossing has such a beautiful story with the wolf. Audiences would go crazy for that. Is John Hillcoat going to be able to find in two and a half hours, I mean, that's what we're talking about here, the historical accuracy that Cormac McCarthy brought into all of this with the Glanton game and all the different locations and the web of landscapes and characters that make the novel great because Blood Meridian holds itself together with strings. I mean, it can be a slog at times and the judge carries a lot of it. And another flaw that this novel has is that Hollywood, Hollywood always loves a hero. Like where are the upstanding characters in Blood Meridian? Like everyone is a rapist. There is no redemption arc. Everyone's an anti-hero to the extreme. And with how politically correct Hollywood is, I mean, The Revenant came out in 2015, 20, 2014, 2015. It was probably directed a year or two before that. That was a totally different time. I mean, that was before any of the political cancel culturals, cancel culturers were let out of the cage that they should have stayed in forever. And I just can't get over that they picked John Hilko. I mean, the New Regency has other directors. They have Robert Eggers. All of his films have been, at least three of his films have been with New Regency. Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu, if that's how you say his name, who directed The Revenant. 
He can do it. John Hilko can maybe make us a crappy Red Dead Redemption movie. However, this can be good just because of the violence and like the mesmerization of everything in the storyline. This is not something that people are used to. And kids today are very in to obviously violence and, and with all the, you know, just the Marvel movies and all the brain dead people out there. I mean, this could be something that could catch on like, gotta go see this film. Like, oh my God. But as McCarthy bros... I would rather see like an uber talented indie filmmaker get the opportunity to do this with the same budget. So what do you guys think out there? Do you guys think that this is a good selection? Are you guys excited? I just made a video about this a couple days ago and a lot of you guys said that you don't even want to see it filmed. So how do you feel about the selection? How long do you think this is going to tell it's going to come out? I'm guessing what 2025 at best. This may revive McCarthyism though. This may bring more people to Cormac McCarthy. And that's the, that's, you know, that's something that's really good because if they get into his works, it will change their life. So I'm excited about this no matter how it goes, because it will expose his audience to new people. I don't want to be too bitter about this and you shouldn't be either. Also interesting. We have a pretty good cast of characters. I mean, of a crew of actors out there that, could tackle some of these roles. Like we still have a lot of old school actors to play some of the parts, you know, like the judge, you know, this is a crazy pick, but if Daniel Day Lewis came and do it, did it, which you, that would never happen, even though he doesn't really look the part. I mean, he could act the part. He would act the shit out of that. So let's go, everyone. I'm I'm stoked. I mean, I liked 19, David Lynch's 1984 Dune. So I, as long as I get to see my favorite characters put on the screen, even if it's indie film, like I watched James Franco's Child of God. And even though it sucked, I was, I'm glad he did it. And I'm glad he didn't get to do Blood Meridian. So everyone, if you want to support the channel, support this journey of daily Cormac McCarthy content, grab a t-shirt, hop in the course for a lot more content, just hours and hours more of content and have a great day.